What's up guys, today's day 217 on our journey to 2000, and in today's video I'm gonna go over a little bit about what I was reading in my book, my chess book, the chess book I've been reading, it's not my chess book, and then we're gonna play a 10 minute rapid game online. So, the thing I was learning was that there are seven kind of concepts of the middle game, or just positional play, I don't really understand completely yet, and I've heard these concepts before from the same author actually, um, and I probably won't remember all of them, but they have to do with uh, pawn structure. So how your pawns are structured, if you have doubled pawns, if you have isolated pawns, if you have backwards pawns where there are no other pawns to support them, all these different things can affect the game. Another thing is material, who has more material. If you're winning by a piece, a pawn, stuff like that, that makes sense. So that's two, there's seven in total, I believe. Another one is your minor pieces. So if you have a bishop pair versus your opponent or you have a stronger knight that's placed in a nice way that has access to a lot of squares your opponent controls, that could be something. Um, another thing is taking space. So when you're, you know, who's taking more space, who has a lead in development, who has more pieces developed basically, um, who has the initiative basically kind of taking charge of the game. And the last thing I don't remember so if someone could remind me, that would be cool in the comments. But anyway, let's get started with the 10 minute game. I'm probably not going to use that knowledge yet. I'm still learning about it, but I thought it was interesting to share. Okay, we're versing Baba Fathead, <laughs> a 1749 rated player. So we're around the same rating and we're going to go into the peers. What country? Lebanon. I actually did not know Lebanon's flag looks like that. Okay, so they're going straight for attacking our knight. This does give us a free pawn, so I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna take the free pawn. Um, we also target the bishop here now. I don't know what the purpose of that was. Okay, I guess he just blundered. <laughs> Normally, I would go here, I would bring the bishop here, and I would continue into this opening. But he is playing very weirdly. So I'm kind of tempted to bring the pawn here and do some weird things. That being said, maybe I should just play normally, go into my peers and see what happens. We could bring this knight back. We're gonna bring the bishop here. Everything looks good. Let's bring the bishop here. This was a smart move, protecting the pawn, I think. Um, the knight can come here attacking the bishop, but then where does he move the bishop? I guess he can move it here, we could attack it. He can move it here, then I would take it. He can move it back, which doesn't make sense. So let's say here, 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 here. It's not really going anywhere. And what are we doing? And then we castle, maybe something like that. Knight comes here, queen check is the most obvious kind of move. Bishop here. Um, maybe we just develop the knight if he attacks. We come here attacking the bishop. Really, he can't attack. Our knight protects that square. So let's go here. Mm hmm. Let's go here. He could bring the queen here, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, let's go here. Try to trade. Okay, we can attack it again. He'll go here. I don't know how much I like that. Let's just castle. Hey, he castles. We can bring the knight here. This actually doesn't seem like a bad move-ish. Maybe a little bit bad. Maybe there's something like this, taking the pawn, but then he just takes back. That's dumb. We can move the knight here. Takes, takes. He brings this here. We can protect? No, he wouldn't bring it there. We can come here attacking the bishop and the pawn, breaking through stuff. Another idea is just pushing the center. If takes, then 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 takes. The problem is if he pushes forward. Then the knight can come here actually and would trade off bishops. Although I feel like my bishop is better. Another idea is coming here, takes, takes. And it looks like it's almost a checkmate. Although I don't think it is because of this stuff. Uh, I don't want to overthink. Let's do it. I, we're close. This is actually kind of stupid. We're closing it off. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. I spent a minute on this though. He has a two minute advantage, but he, he already made a mistake blundering a pawn. So. Although that doesn't mean that the game's over. Okay. So we could take here. If he takes back with the pawn, we can maybe bring our knight here opening this up as a target. If he attacks, we could bring our knight back. And this knight is going here, maybe, attacking the bishop. So that's an idea. Another idea is attacking this knight, but then the pawn becomes weak, so let's just take. Yeah, let's go. We can go rook. I like the knight here. I also like the rook here, let's do that. If he attacks, okay, he's putting more pressure here. 
We can go here, takes, takes, and we have two center pawns, and this is open. This is okay, let's do that. And I kind of missed that because I'm stupid. But maybe it's not too bad. Takes, 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 and we're targeting this. That's why you don't play fast. Okay, so there's a couple of ideas here. One is we can come here attacking the queen, because we're down a piece, essentially. We could come here attacking a queen. Ooh, this is actually scary. And we'll look at that in a second, but... We could come here attacking the queen. He takes, we come here. Ah, uh, no, it's starting to look very scary. Here, and that's checkmate. He also has this type of check. Okay, knight here protects this, but then he can attack. We could attack the pawn. He could take, we could take. Uh, it's so tricky. Let's go here and try to kick kish the queen out. I was considering taking this pawn, but then we get mated, I possibly, so. Okay, this is not bad. We could attack the knight. He was just scared of this, I guess. Okay, if we attack the queen, where is the queen going? This is something I don't think about enough. The queen can go all the way back. Then we could attack this knight. I think I want to do this. Okay, he's attacking this. Now, we can attack the knight. Let's do that. We can attack the knight again. He goes here, then we could fork. Does the knight go anywhere annoying? No. So let's do that. Okay, an interesting move. And we're running low on time. He's getting us on time. So let's not lose on time. Here he goes here. Here he takes. Maybe here is a good move. No, then he forks. Wow, this is very annoying, actually. This looks like the only decent move, I see. Go here. He could come here. We could go back. Well, now he can't attack the queen. Go here. Okay. Jesus, he's playing annoyingly. Actually, not sure what to do here. Check, takes, check. I mean, takes. Is that insane? Now I'm thinking f5 was a better move, but I don't know. That's insane, man. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Go here. Now he could take, or he could do that. Go here. Go here. Ah, didn't see that. Go here. This guy's not a good player, and this is annoying me. But I guess he is good if he made me mess up this much. Jeez, could I have just taken the knight? I don't know what I'm doing. And what the hell is he doing? Ugh, what a disgusting game. So disgustingly bad. Oh, I should have gone G7. That's it. Should have came here. At least this gives a check. Oh, that's a checkmate. The rook. You just come down with the rook, man. Oh, my God. Uh, I can't believe I lost that game. Why was I overthinking so much? He was just playing fast, not even well. Look, I was already winning from here. But, you know, you can't blame the opponent if you lose a game in chess. Chess is literally a game where you just lose, you lose. Jesus, that was very, very... One of the more frustrating games in recent times. I knew this E5 move was not good. E6 to prevent this pawn push, I guess. Yeah, and this was terrible. E7. Yeah, I just... It felt like such a slow, stupid move. That's why I didn't do it, but it looks so obvious now. And here I was obviously losing. But, um... I somehow got out of it. Queen E6. Yeah, I guess that works. 
and here I was just it was too it was too fast it was too fast for me and I, after losing the rook I knew it was over uh, I didn't have time man I did not have time to think this through wait I could have taken with the king that seems better now I have this and now I win uh, 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 how would I win here? Just protect the pawn, stop any checks. If he comes in with a check, I come here. He comes in with a check. Well, he can't do that. But he would have to somehow stop the promotion here. And then I have a chance. Wait, what is? what would my move be here? B2. Uh, stopping any checks. And now this is done. This is donezo. I just get a queen. This would have been nice. This would have been really nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't. No, I enjoyed. It was still okay, I guess. Say 18 because I have 18 extra points, extra material here. Even though I don't. But if the game went like this, it would have been funny. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great one. See you next time. Bye-bye.